it's video time. Welcome back to Code Golfer. I'm Marty, and we're back in business, back doing videos. Today, it's all about why am I switching to Vulcan, and why did SFML seriously throw a wrench in the cogs? So let's just back things up a second here and go over what an API is. So an API, Application Programming Interface, what it is is it's basically a collection and a bundle of tools that you use with programming languages such as C++ to make programs and apps and games. A few common ones are like OpenGL, DirectX, Vulkan, et cetera, et cetera. Now, certain APIs have certain uses. Some are designed and targeted for games only. Some are targeted for like doing window stuff. So if you wanna make a window manager, like so, there is probably an API for that. There's APIs for machine learning, APIs for essentially everything. Now this video, we're gonna be talking in terms of game development because that's more my cup of tea. And no, I'm not British, I'm Canadian. I just say that sometimes, it's just an expression. So one of the APIs I had started with was Pygame and that was with Python. And then I found out that Python was actually quite really hot garbage. <laughs> I meant to say a delightful little programming language that isn't really good at anything. But anyways, so I switched to C++ and then right off the bat, I'm like, okay, I want to get making games and I want to do it fast. I heard about SFML. I'm like, all right, this looks like the ticket. So I went with it without doing my research. Yay. And I've ended up with having to rewrite this entire program. So I keep running into this one issue. I'm going to show you the game I'm working on. What will happen is the game will run perfectly fine for even a minute sometimes. Sometimes it can run good for like 10 minutes at a time without having any glitches. And that's at... I don't know exactly what happens, but you get to this one point where you move a little and then also like it just jitters. And then it's when you run it for, okay, right there. It just saw it right there, R right there again, stuttering. So the game works perfectly fine unless you move the view. Now with SFML, there's a functionality that allows you to manipulate the view and it's looks really easy. It acts really easy, but it kind of screws everything up right here. So I have actually inherited the view class and turned it into a camera class which is it's basically a little simple camera so the camera class uses the sfml view class so it's essentially it's just a view sfml view just with a few more methods added so i said right all right now the problem is now how do i fix it and what do we do when we have a problem we can't fix we google it but i use DuckDuckGo because i like it sfml screen jitters now this guy says, hello, the level's made of 32 by 32 sprites. They all share texture tile set. There's no smoothing on the texture, but a camera of view to adjust. Sometimes it renders with horizontal lines, which happened to me as well. See the screenshot. I don't know what a screenshot is. And this glitch remains while moving the camera horizontally. I guess it's related to point floating point rendering. How can I avoid it? Thanks in advance. Easy. Same issue here. We've got another problem. Uh-oh. Well, shiggles, it's not there. Now along comes Lauren, and that's the hero member. It's a known limitation of the rendering system in SFML2. You must use integer coordinates to get per pixel perfect rendering. Unfortunately, this is very hard to achieve with the custom view. It's not the coordinates in a 2D scene that must be integer, but the coordinates after being transformed by the current view. Right, now this wasn't my exact issue. It was slightly related, but not my exact issue. But this did make me wonder. The rendering system as of, of SFML. And I started looking into that. I found this other feed, which unfortunately has been deleted. And that's where Laurent also explained that the rendering system that uses OpenGL ha is slightly flawed in the methods of rendering. And that explains why you get these jitters. In conclusion, they know they have an issue. They accept they have an issue. Are they going to change it? It doesn't sound like they intend on doing anything about it. So it's time to head out and switch to something else. And it looks like I'm gonna have to do that because of some serious tomfoolery in the way it's rendering. Where am I going from here? I'm actually gonna switch out of SFML and go to something harder, and that would be Vulkan. So Vulkan is another API that's targeted for games, games specifically, but it also can do, like I said, like rendering just windows like this, like doing window. If you want to create these little apps, like this app itself, I don't know, an app like this, you can use it for that as well. It's essentially intended for graphics, but I think I should have at least enough experience to be able to stumble through Vulkan and get workable results. Since I'm gonna be writing the rendering system myself, I can adjust it and fine tune it to exactly the way I want. So at least 
if I do end up with a glitch, at least I can fix it because I'll actually know what's going on with the rendering system. Aside from that, Vulkan is actually better than OpenGL. It's faster, more efficient, less overhead, and it seems to be the way of the future for games. So it's not a bad thing to learn at any point. Now, also something to keep in mind, there's also lots of good al other alternatives, like like SDL2, that's a pretty popular one. It's a, it's a tried and true system for 2D rendering. There's a few others out there, but I wanna try something hard and challenging. And to be honest, it's not a bad idea to learn Vulkan because it seems to be the future for gaming. It's faster than OpenGL, which is what SFML uses internally to render. So with that said, I am going to be wrapping up the SFML series pretty soon because I just can't get past this glitch. I've tried my best. Perhaps there is a way. It's always possible. I might have overlooked something. If I have overlooked something, please let me know in the comments. To summarize, I would recommend if you're going to go with a 2D game and don't want something as complex as Vulkan to learn, I'd recommend going with something like SDL2. I hope you enjoyed the video. Hopefully it helps you out a little, gives you a little bit of direction, maybe some entertainment, and I'll see you next video. Code like and subscribe, please.